What's up, YouTube fam? Brandon Weaver here once again. So, I've got a nice write-in testimonial. And what do you do if a collection has not hit your credit reports yet? Is it possible that they might have sent you something? So take a look. First, we got this nice write-in testimonial here. So, I wanna say thank you so much. Gotta give you credit where credit is due. Back when this individual was looking for a home, they were trying to purchase a home, but they had bad credit, so they got a bad rate on the loan, bad loan. In a matter of four months, they purchased our do-it-yourself package at 609creditrepair.com, okay? You get the Beyond Committed package, got all the eBooks, the videos, the system, walk you through the process. In a matter of four months, their credit score went from 600 to 750. Four months went from 600, okay, to 750 and was able to purchase their home with a great rate, they say. 750. Could you imagine, what could you do three, four months going from, you know, not so great credit to excellent credit? This individual was able to purchase a home, to start building wealth, generational wealth for them and their family, right? Because they purchased a home, built wealth, equity in the home, yes. Could potentially start a business with business credit. Could utilize that for, you know, travel miles cards, cash back cards, get something back when they're making their purchases and they can travel, or they can use the cash back wherever they want. Utilizing their credit to purchase a nice, you know, maybe, maybe get their dream car at the right rate, you know? So you could be next, 609creditrepair.com. We could do the work for you at theawesomelifegroup.com. So I spoke about individual who was potentially dealing with a collection. That's not on their credit report. Perhaps a collection agency sent them something in the mail. In fact, this did happen to somebody and they said, hey, look, I got something in the mail. I see that there's, they say, oh, I owe this or that and there's this collection and third party and so forth and so on, but it's not on my credit reports. So what do I do? What do you do in that scenario if you get one of these Dunning letters, one of these 30-day letters? So yes, you can send a collection validation letter to that collection to put pressure on them. Also, if it's not on your credit reports, okay, it doesn't necessarily mean it will show up on your credit reports, okay? So you can send the letter, they might not be able to verify, validate, or anything like that, it may not show up on your reports. And if it doesn't show up on your reports, okay, then it won't affect your, can't really affect your credit report. If it's not on your credit report, it's not reporting and not bringing down your score, right? Now, if you do see it, it pop up on the report, Okay, you can also dispute with the bureaus, yes? Especially if you've sent a collection validation letter to the collectors and they were not able to validate 100%, able to verify 100%. You can send a collector fails to validate letter to the bureaus along with your 609 dispute letters. And you can send your next round of validation letters to the collectors. So there's options for you to make sure that these nasty, negative, erroneous, items, these unverified items. Get these off your credit reports, keep them off your credit reports, 609creditrepair.com, or we can do the work for you at theawesomelifegroup.com. Please give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and until I see you in person, I will see you on the other side. Take care.